Welcome to the I Am A Woman podcast, a gathering place for women to discover their authentic selves in God. Here we deal with the whole woman, spirit, soul, and body. Enjoy today's episode. Well, hey fam, and welcome to the I Am A Woman podcast. I am your host, Teray Peoples. If this is your first time joining me, welcome. I'm so glad that you are here. Please don't let it be your last. If you're listening to this on Spotify, please um, do me a favor. Come on over to the I Am A Woman YouTube channel. Check us out over there. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe when you do come over there. Ring that notification bell so you don't ever miss an upload from us. And just watch all the goodness that we have going on over here. So I'm so excited that you have taken out time to join me in um, this ep- on this episode of the I Am A Woman podcast. And today we are going to talk about how to be an authentic woman. It's going to be really, really good. This is going to be a good conversation. So you want to make sure that you are getting your favorite drink. Look, today I went and got me an iced caramel latte from Dunkin'. Now, this is not my favorite drink, but it's one of my favorite drinks. So I got me, I got me an iced coffee. Hold on, let me take a sip. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. So I got me an iced coffee. So go ahead and get you a good cup of coffee, whatever it is that you like to drink. And let's just sit down and let's have a conversation today. So let's get into it. So like I said, in today's conversation, we are going to talk about how to be an authentic woman. If you follow me on Instagram at Trey Peoples, listen, if you don't follow me over there, go ahead and check me out all over there. I like my reels. I got some good reels, some funny reels. I have some inspirational reels. I have some entertaining reels over there. So you want to make sure that you go and follow me on Instagram. Um, but I've been talking about how to show up authentically yourself. So let's get into our topic of conversation today, which is how to be an authentic woman. The definition of authentic means of undisputed origin, genuine, bona fide, being exactly what is claimed. Authenticity means being true to your own personality, values, and spirit. So I'm going to read you what I wrote on an Instagram post a while ago to start our conversation. And it goes like this. Authenticity requires a knowing of oneself that can only be discovered by spending time getting to know yourself and developing that relationship. The more you learn about the more... The more you learn about you, the more you can teach others about you. My mother used to say that you show people how to treat you. Treating yourself well will place a requirement on others to do the same. I took that comment that my mother used to say. She used to say, baby, you show people how to treat you. You show people how to treat you. And I didn't fully understand it then. But the older that I get, the more it becomes a blaring reminder that I need to be sure that I know how to treat myself and knowing how to treat myself means I know myself what I like and what I don't like. Um, I shared this in a previous podcast back in 2018 when my mother passed away, my world was turned upside down and things just did not seem right. Like the world is not right without your mom. And so I began to ask myself some questions. Why am I the way that I am? I needed the world to make sense. I needed, you know, my likes and my dislikes. I needed all of that to make sense to me. And so I began to discover that there were certain things that I liked that I was told I shouldn't, or there were certain things that I didn't like that I was told that I should, or whatever the case may be. And I really began to do an introspective work on myself by discovering me again, discovering the woman that I genuinely was. And so at that moment, I decided that I was no longer going to continue to show up how other people wanted me to show up. I was going to show up 100% authentically myself. And when you do that, you have to be aware of a couple of things. You have to be aware of the fact that you're going to make people upset. Everybody is not going to appreciate the fact that you are no longer showing up for their comfort or for their benefit and that is 100% okay now you're going to have to be okay with those who love it you're going to be have to be okay with those that don't but in order for you to show up authentically yourself you're going to have to be willing to say you know it's 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 okay it's okay for you to feel um it's okay for you to dislike how I'm how I'm presenting and that's I think that's what what scares some some people from Oh, excuse me. I believe that's what scares people from showing up authentically themselves because they don't ever want to make anybody else uncomfortable. But then that's when you start leaning over into that attitude of people pleasing. People pleasing is the very nature of being uncomfortable for someone else's comfort. 
that is the basic definition of what it means to people please and so if i am adjusting myself to make sure that you are comfortable you know regardless to how uncomfortable that i am then then I am not honoring myself. I am not showing up authentically myself. But when you show up authentically yourself, you already go in knowing that there are gonna be those that don't like it. And you have to be okay with knowing that they are not going to like it, but still showing up as yourself, okay? Whenever I walk into a room, I walk into the room and I do a whole self check. To Ray, be you. To Ray, don't make, don't you adjust yourself. To Ray, it's okay. If they if they rock with you, great. If they don't rock with you, even better. Because now I don't have to worry about trying to code switch, if you will, for anyone else's benefit. I'm going to show up and be who it is that I am. But me knowing who I am required me to ask myself some questions. So let's get into the how to show up authentically, right? You need to take out some time to get to know yourself. Take yourself out to lunch. And if you have an issue of being by yourself, why can't you be by yourself? Why can't you spend time alone getting to know yourself? So the same way that you would ask someone else questions, whether it's a, you and a, you and your best friend are out at lunch or whatever, whatever questions that you would ask her, ask those questions of yourself and then answer those jokers. Don't just ask the question and just leave it open-ended to be like, oh, this sounds crazy. No, Teray, why do you like what you like? And be like, oh, I like that because it's comfortable I, I I like that because it is it brings me joy I like that because I like to laugh and it makes me laugh you know why do you like whatever it is okay why do you like watching that television show and then really get into it right um why don't you like it you know why don't you like that type of food because I don't like the texture of it or I don't like the way that it smells or this may sound real basic and this may sound real um unnecessary but it's not <laughs> but it's not okay you need to be able to answer those questions because there's going to be times where you're going to find yourself in certain settings and certain you know environments where that question might be asked of you and if you've never answered that question for yourself be careful because people will answer the question for you I remember I was going through a very hard time in my life in the setting that I was in and I was in like at the onset of this traumatic experience and someone is asking me, well, why didn't you tell this certain person what you were going through? And I didn't tell anybody because I didn't want anybody to know. It was for me personally, it was none of their business, right? However, the other person in the room, there was another person in the room who answered the question for me and their answer was wrong right their answer was contrary to how I was feeling they imposed an answer upon me because that's what how they thought and that's how they saw me right but here's the issue I never stood up to correct it so once again I'm not showing up authentically myself because number one I did not answer the question and number two I allowed somebody else to answer the question for me without correcting them so now now not only is it not not only am I not showing, uh, being authentically myself, I'm not showing up for myself. Like I am not advocating for myself. You have to know in order for you to be authentically yourself in every situation, you're going to have to stand up and advocate for yourself. That is a part of that. We cannot allow false narratives of who we are to be said in our present Per, in, in our presence and not correct them us showing up authentically ourselves first we have to know ourselves so that we can advocate for ourselves we have to know ourselves so that we can tell other people how they are supposed to respond to us that goes back to what my mother said baby you show people how to treat you if it's okay for them once to make that narrative of you and to make that assumption of you then they will do it again and they will continue to do it until you correct it so if you are tired of people placing you in a box tell them you no longer have the permission to place me in this box and you have to also own the fact that you have allowed them to place you in the box okay showing up authentically means i'm doing what is true to my moral values hold on 
what did we say authenticity authenticity means being true to your own personality values and spirit my personality is I am more conservative in my appearance I am more conservative in my, in my approach towards certain things um I don't do a whole lot of flashy things but that's just me that's that's me that's my personality that's the way that I like to express how I desire to express myself right and these are the things those things that are important to me family um my relationship with the Lord is very important to me that is the forefront of my life um every everything that I put out is going to have God's name attached to it because that's the relationship that he and I share and that's something that's that's it's valuable to me right so for me walking in into any other space and they say oh well that's not allowed well guess what that's not for me right I have to do those things for in order for me to show up authentically myself I have to do those things and acknowledge those things and be okay be okay with those things right and then I have to be okay in those areas where it's not where it's not wanted I can't show up there because now I'm dishonoring who I am because that's important to me but just because I want to be a part okay I'm going to hide that part of I'm not hiding anything about myself when you show up authentically yourself you will not hide anything about who you are you won't hide anything so showing up authentically means I'll be open about who I I'll be honest about where I'm at I'll be open about where I'm at and in the right setting I will be transparent about what it about what I'm dealing with right because that is who I am this is who I am right now now you might have an idea or an assumption of who you think I am but that that's not me this is me (laughs) this is me I can't say that enough I feel like I've been saying that phrase a lot um but you have to know who you are I tell my daughters all the time girls you have to know who you are because if you don't somebody else is waiting for the opportunity to tell you who you are you have to go out into this big 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 world knowing who you are so that other people cannot try to frame a narrative of who they think that you are you have to know who you are my identity is found in Christ and I know that my identity is laced in the grace of God yeah it is and I know that and I'm aware of that and that is something that I hold near and dear to my heart right and so I'm not going to make any adjustments or I'm not going to make any um alterations um (laughs) or any uh concessions for someone else's comfortability because that would not be me being true to my personality my values or my spirit it's not okay so authentic authenticity requires a knowing of oneself so if you want to know how to show up authentically get lady you know ladies you have to know who you are you have to know who you are do you know yourself do you really know yourself and knowing yourself goes further than just knowing what you look like knowing your name knowing um you know knowing all of your history no do you know what makes you tick do you know why you respond the way that you respond do you know why that's a trigger for you do you know why um that bothers you when someone says x y and z do you know why you light up when this person walks in the room or when that um when you when you hear a certain song do you know why you light up the way that you do do you really know yourself and for some of us that's going to require some really deep um introspective work and how do you get that work some some of us might have to go go to therapy listen i got a i have a therapy a therapy session scheduled for next monday Mm -hmm. i do because i believe in theology and therapy i believe in jesus and a counselor i believe that they can both work for my good yeah i believe that god gave us therapists to help us work through some of our trauma a lot of the trauma that we experience in life right and so in order to help me not to keep showing up um in a way that i don't 
that does not speak to who I am in a way that I don't no longer want to, I'm going to put in the work. I'm going to put in the work to make sure that I show up 100% authentically to Ray the way that God desires for me to show up. How does God desire for me to show up? Who is it that he intended for me to be? And sometimes you need help and it's okay to say, you know what, in order for me to show up authentically myself, I need some help getting to know myself. I might not always have the right language or the right um, questions to ask. I don't know all of the right questions to ask myself. So let me go to someone who can give me the tools that I need in order for me to use so that I can get to know myself well. All right. So ladies, let's get to know yourself so that you can show up authentically. You show up authentically by being honest with yourself. First and foremost, you show up authentically by making no adjustments, by valuing your, your comfort of who you are and not sacrificing it for someone else's comfort, okay? I'm not going to be uncomfortable for the benefit of someone else's comfort. That is like I said earlier, that's the definition of people pleasing. That's the basic def definition of people pleasing. So we're not people pleasers over here. Mm -mm, we are authentic women of God. That's what we are. So the I Am A Woman Network was created. It was created as a gathering place for women to come together to discover their authentic selves and God. If you are looking for a place where you can absolutely discover your authentic self, then this is the place you want to be. See, because we have real conversations. We're going to have real conversations. We're going to have, we're going to address real issues here. So I want you to feel that this is a safe place for you, that this is a place where you can definitely um, talk about some of those those areas of your life that may that may um, have been hidden because it did not feel safe or you felt uncomfortable or listen I'm gonna talk about it yeah we're gonna talk about it it's time out for hiding we're gonna talk about the conversations and we're gonna have those hard conversations or have those difficult conversations and we're gonna get into it and see what God does and God is gonna be glorified out of all of it yes he is because he desired designed us for community and so we're going to build and help create and build that community so do me a favor fam um, let's spread the love. Let's share about the I am a woman podcast. Do me a favor. If you're watching this on YouTube, like, and share this link, get the word out. Let your friends know, let a friend tell a friend about what's going on here at the I am a woman, uh, YouTube channel. So I'm so glad that you are here, that you have taken out this time to join me today. Thank you so much for joining me on today's episode. If you're listening to this on Spotify or iTunes and Apple music, do me a favor, rate and review. Let me know how you like the podcast and back to youtube again like and share leave me a comment let me know what you're thinking about make sure that you subscribe and you hit that notification bell so you don't ever miss an upload from me also follow me on instagram to rate people follow the podcast i am a woman podcast go over and visit all of the things you can visit me at to rate peoples.com also, if you have not, you want to make sure you join my email list because I do a daily devotion every single day. It goes out at 6 a.m. So you want to make sure that you are staying tuned and staying connected with I Am A Woman in all areas. All right. So God bless you, family. As always, remember, if no one has told you, I love you. I am praying for you and I'm believing the Lord for the very, very best for your life. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.